Hey everybody, it's Ross. Um, I don't normally bring you guys in the kitchen all that much, but um, right now we're cooking up my wine cap mushrooms that I've been harvesting over the last couple weeks. And uh, this is really my first experience with homegrown mushrooms and um, also with wine caps in general. I've never eaten wine caps prior to this. And um, I had a lot of you guys tell me um, that you didn't really like the flavor all that much. You also um, wanted to know what my opinions are on the mushroom um, in terms of flavor and in terms of texture. So that's kind of what we're doing today is that I've actually made myself here a, uh, a pork roll or a Taylor ham sandwich, depending on, you know, if you're in Pennsylvania or in Jersey. Um, but I've got myself here some toasted bread with uh, butter on it. Got the, the pork roll with the American cheese. We've got a pickle with my great grandfather's recipe. I also have some olives and uh, a little bit of hot sauce. Um, actually, this stuff here, this uh, Chipotle Tabasco sauce, that actually smells pretty good. So we're gonna put all this together and create myself a sandwich and we're gonna have the mushrooms on as well. But before I did that, I wanted to show you the, the mushrooms themselves and um, what I find is that these wine cap mushrooms are incredible. Um, the flavor is very reminiscent of a button mushroom. So I'm not like, you know, over amazed or overjoyed by the flavor. And I think there's other mushrooms like lion's mane and shiitake which are more of my favorite mushrooms to eat for their flavor, but um, these mushrooms have like the best texture. When you saute them in a pan with some butter or olive oil, they get really nice and crispy and they lose a lot of that water. And um, they really start to resemble, in my opinion, something that's quite similar to like, um, like a garlic, if you, if you actually brown some garlic, um, you know, what is that gonna taste like? And it's not necessarily the flavor, but the texture of browned garlic, um, it's, it's got that similar texture in a way. Um, it's still meaty, right? It's still got that internal meatiness to it, but the Outside is really crispy and crunchy, and it's almost like a potato too, you could say. So it's somewhere between, you can hear that crunch. You know, somewhere between a potato and a, and a and garlic, and um, in my mind, it's got obviously a different flavor than the other two, but it really does remind me of like a potato um, or a piece of garlic, and for that, I think this mushroom's incredible. And um, yeah, I don't know how you guys, the people who said that you didn't really like it all that much, how you guys are cooking it and whatnot, what you're doing with it, but I personally find it to be spectacular. Um, I'm overjoyed, I'm happy. I'm pretty um, <clears throat> satisfied here with just that. And I'll show you here, cause this is some of the mushrooms I've harvested over the last two days. Um, and this particular mushroom here, if I cut it, you'll see the color. You know, it's nice and white. It's got the gills. It's pretty meaty, like you would expect from uh, most mushrooms. But then if you look at this over here, it's nice and brown. And the color is just dramatically different. And it still retains some of that meatiness, but for the most part, uh, the texture is really quite something. I'm a big fan. They're like eating mushroom chips in a way. So <clears throat> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here in the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna put together this pork roll sandwich. I know the people in Jersey are cringing because it's Taylor ham to them, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put this together. I'm certainly gonna enjoy it, and I hope you guys got something out of this. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Um, take care, please subscribe. Check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll see everybody soon. Grow some mushrooms.